Tori P on Facebook asks, what are your thoughts on sugar, high quality forms, and cancer? Should one limit fruit sugar if diagnosed or even for optimal health and keep it under a certain daily amount? She says, if we lived in optimal conditions with ripe fruit picked from the tree, I can see eating a lot more fruit. But unfortunately, the fruit we buy here for a major portion of the year is not high quality. She is just curious on your thoughts and she thanks you. Yeah, very good question. But sugar, uh, keep in mind, sugar is the fundamental fuel of metabolism, the fundamental fuel by which cells work. And uh, when combined with oxygen in these little organelles called mitochondria, they produce energy that is, runs all the cellular machinery. So it's fundamental. Um, we need it. We need sugar. And, but we do not need more than we need. If we get more than we need, it starts to become a problem. It becomes toxic and it produces conditions like um, insulin resistance, etc., uh, that are necessary to maintain health. The body really has a set mechanism there to prevent us from getting too much of it. In, in a chronic condition, getting too much sugar chronically, the body will control it by becoming what we call diabetic, but it's basically the body controlling the sugar intake into the cells. Cancer feeds on sugar. Cancer is anaerobic. It needs 19 times more sugar. So it does that by having extra insulin receptors. It's very clever. The thing that feeds cancer preferentially is spikes in sugar. So if you're eating just a normal, normal healthy diet, your sugar will be going be slight variations throughout the day. Right? And you'll only be eating once or twice. Right? And so you'll be pretty much low with a few little like this. And during the meal you might have some kind of a spike. So it's only during the spike that insulin is produced, because when the sugar goes up, insulin's produced. When the insulin's produced, it will be picked up preferentially and first by cancer cells. So during spikes, you're feeding cancer cells. So if you have the minimal spikes and you just keep it fairly low, then you're going to relatively be starving cancer. So in terms of quality, the best quality of any substance, of any macronutrient, and sugar is a carbohydrate, is one of the macronutrients, the best quality is that which comes from uh, its original source, which are plants. Plants are the originators of all things biological. Yes, so therefore fruit, but you gotta understand, even spinach, even potatoes, everything has got some amount of sugar. There's nothing in isolation, there's no pure starch tree, there's no pure fat tree. I mean. Even a seed, which is mostly oil and fats, has some protein and some carbs. There's no pure anything. It's all a variation uh, of different proportions of these three macronutrients and all the little, little micronutrients. But you're absolutely right. We have hybrid, hybrid bananas now. And the same with most fruits. They're hybrid. And, uh, but in any case, when you eat wild-crafted foods uh, and you eat them in season, you'll always be uh, uh, healthy. So can we eat sugar I and mean, can we eat fruit and all that? We can, but we eat it, uh, it, it, it depends on your particular condition. Um, but the, most people can have fruit and should have some fruit every day. It's our most natural food. You take a baby and they see a red apple. They see a pear, they just automatically, instinctually put it in their mouth. They don't grab rabbits and do that. They don't grab frogs and eat them. So it's our most instinctual food and we do need it daily. Um, um, we should try to eat it in season and try to eat wild-crafted organic ones and never overeat it. And we have to have it, and remember, so if you're eating other things with it, I mean, you don't, when you eat fruit, you should eat it alone so you have the most efficient digestion and it doesn't ferment, okay? But you don't eat too much. And then you'll eat, you'll eat other food at a distance from it so that it has, it's, it's able to digest too. Remember, the more you require of your digestive system, the less efficient it will be. Okay? In nature, if you watch any organism, when nature, when an organism finds food, it finds a food, one thing. You know, no animal comes and gets a little bit of this and grabs a little bit of that and brings it all together except us. You know, and then we, and then we kill it with fire. I mean, we, we take it to the extreme. It's, it's amazing that we're still alive, that we still, our species is still working. So yes, the answer is we do need sugars, we do need fruit, it's essential, and we should probably uh, try to get it from the, in, the, in the best, healthiest way, which is wild-crafted, organic uh, sources. And never eat too much, and never eat with other things.